Hey y'all, I'm Hillbilly. Welcome back to Let's Play Shining Tears. In the last episode, we finished the fight with Karen and the Holy Knights and went through what seemed like hours of dialogue that caused our video to run long, but we finally got through it. And here we are now. And we've, well, we've got a bunch of inventory things we can do now. Let's, uh, we picked up a bunch of cards. Some of them are bound to have been new, I guess. Well, two of them were new anyway. I think we picked up several copies of the same thing during that fight, too. Wait, what's this? Oh, we must have got this last session. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we did. It was, it was, the, it was the Pale Spider Adult. Okay. Okay. Silver Arrow Knight of the Holy Knights. And Sapphire Paladin, a Centaur of the Holy Knights. That may be all, the, yeah, I think those were all the new ones we had. Yeah, we still don't even have anything on these last couple pages. Well, before we even go outside, let's look at our inventory, so. Because we picked up a number of helmets in there. So we got a dragon helm that'll only fit uh, Lazarus. His strength is still a ways away. We have one of those, but I think... Well, all we know is a dragon helm until we get it appraised. We don't know if this one has special abilities or not. We're beyond Elf's Hats. The Rune Helm. Isn't somebody wearing a Rune Helm? Okay. Oh, she's the only one that can wear a Rune Helm. Okay. But she needs Strength 54. She's a long way from that. We've got two of them, as a matter of fact. And neither one of those needs appraising. And do we already have one? We do. So we can sell two of them. So yeah, we can sell two rune helms. If I can remember that till we get there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six things to appraise. Yeah, let's let's go do that before we think too much about this other stuff. We can sell the two rune helms while we're there. Because there's nothing special about any of them. Oh, and I finally got a chance to save between videos too. Let's see. Oh, no. We want to go to the appraisers, not the tool shop. Greetings, hero. Okay. First of all, let's sell a rune helm and sell another rune helm. Worth 500 gold each. Okay. Now I got a bunch of stuff to appraise. Ooh, this is expensive to appraise. A dragon helm. Okay, a dragon helm plus three. Well, even if we don't use it, its value went up a little bit. We have a dragon helm, or some sort of dragon helm, that we can't use yet. A fire X dragon helm. So that'll give some fire resistance. But a plus three will give us a few more defense points. I don't know which would be better by the time we can wear that. Three. Two extra defense points or three may not really be worth it by the time we're strong enough to wear that. So we'll decide. Okay, Elf's Hat. 32 gold to appraise. That, oh no, 200 to appraise. Excuse me, 32 is its current value. Lunar Elf's Hat. Yeah, that ups our magic and our resistances but lowers our defense by seven. 
I think we've already been sailing these. A mage cat. I believe that will only work on Nige. Yeah, there's a little face lead up down there. Tough mage cat. Not as good as what she's wearing, but we did increase the value over what it costs to appraise it a little bit. So we come out a little bit. Another elf's hat. Lost a little bit on that one. A holy elf's hat. Is that? That ups her magic a few points. Five points. But again, we lose seven on defense, so. Can the wolf helm. Five seventy four to appraise. Oh no, don't sell it. Oh, lunar wolfham. Okay, I forty five. We have a wolfham. It's gonna be a while before he can use it. It was a brisk wolfham. So forty six. So this one has one less, but adds some resistances. I believe that's another thing that by the time we're able to actually wear it, the resistances will probably be better to us than the than the extra defense. So let's go ahead and sell this dragon helm to you. And the circlet. I don't think we've seen the circlet before. Wow. The value went way down. We lost a lot of money on that. And I can tell that's no good for anybody just by looking at Vogue's numbers. <laughs> yeah. We got took on that one. Okay. Let's uh, leave the appraisers. Elwyn got a level up, we can look at that. Oh, did I say no? I said no. Y'all come back now. Okay, let's look at it. Okay. Well, let's look at the equipment first, because... As usual, let's see if we got anything new we want to equip. She is wearing... An open helm plus one, which has got her defense at 50. And most of this stuff she couldn't wear anyway. Okay, that's a wolf. Turban, okay. The Alec X, okay, a turban plus two she can wear. Requires strength 49, and she's not too far away from it. It ups several things, it ups her magic too, and her defense 5 and gives her some lightning resistance. The silk cat. Okay, all that, that's what she has now, but with just two more magic. The horned helm. Okay, that requires a bunch of strength. Can okay, silk cat we just look at? Horned helm we just look at. Rune helm only needs can wear. Zapex beret. Strength 57 and intelligence. Okay, she needs a. It's okay, so that needs more than the turban. Seems like we had more turbans, though. Yeah, okay. That's a turban plus two. Same as the other, but without the elemental. And that's another one of the same. So she won't be able to wear any of them just yet, but we can get her closer to it. Because so we can get her strength to 47. Oh, I, well, I forgot we had armor to appraise. Okay, that's... she can't wear that. That's less than what she has. Well, you know what? Let's... let's go out of here and get the armor appraised before we decide where to put her points. If we can't get anything for this, we'll just go ahead and put it in strength. 
in preparation Hello for there. being able to wear the turban. Ah. And I went. <laughs> I went to the tool shop instead Thank of the appraisal. Thank you very much. There we go. I almost did it a few minutes ago and then I had to go and do Greetings, it. hero. Okay. So scale armors. Well, cloaks we've seen before. Let's appraise this and see if it's worth having. Just a cloak plus two. I think everybody may be above that now. No. Fog is not. I mean, Lazarus. Okay, but he needs a little bit more agility. One level's worth more of agility. Oh, we have one of those. So, could anybody else benefit from this? Looks like that was what Need was wearing. And Vogue. Okay, so we only need one of these. We only have one person that can benefit from it. And this is a new thing. Oh, look at the appraisal prices on these things. Twelve hundred and fifty. Okay, that caused its value to go down a little bit. Constitution fifty-three. <laughs> okay, that's only a somewhat better than what she has. Oh, it's better than what our main character has, but our constitution's not high enough either. I don't think anybody's constitution is that high. Anybody can wear this. Okay. It raises the defense different amounts for different people, it looks like. Because it's 79 for our main character, and only 53 for Elwin. 60 for Ryuna. 63 for Lazarus. 51 for Neve, which is. Oh, no, well, that's the difference between what they have now. Okay. Goodness. I think my brain's getting tired from playing and recording, y'all. It wasn't all that before. Okay. Wait, nobody can wear this? Oh, this is for... This must be for Kiner, because look, nobody we have can wear it. So we better hang on to that. Okay. So so nothing there helps Elwin, so let's just go back and do what we were going to do with her uh, come back level now. up. Oh wait, she's got had two level ups. I didn't even notice that. Okay, let's go back to the equipment screen. She needed how much for the be able to wear this? Okay. What is she wearing or for armor? A thick elf jacket. Okay. Okay, now some of this she couldn't wear. The cloak's not better than what she has. The scale armor, her constitution needs quite a bit more for that. The vests are not as good. That's what she has. Coat, vest, royal gown's not as good. Aerial vest is not as good. Okay. So, yeah. So, no, that's the wrong shoulder button. A turban needs 49 strength. We can get her to 49 strength. And we'll put the rest, we'll put the odd one in Constitution. Since that's what's lowest. And a lot of things require that. Okay, that gives us two points. Oh, she's still, she's still got an ability we don't have. A spirit of fire, ice, or lightning will conjoin with the arrow. Okay. Uh, 
Now that that's a link skill, okay. We use multi shot so much. Okay. Critical Yeah, I want to give her another one in critical. So there we go. Okay. Oh well, I should have stayed in there. We do still have that multi shot gem on her. I seen from the numbers being blue. Multi shot gem. Return arrow gem. She does have return arrow. What is a blam bracelet? Bracelet with special powers. Weapons have a 50% chance of doing knockback. Hmm. Gotta be level 20. Ice fall. Okay, everybody can win. Sapphire. That's ice resistance. Yeah. Air bracelet. Shining gem. Okay. Carnelian charms. Cure gem. HP regeneration. Half from poison. Okay, a lot of these are things we're already familiar with. Okay. Oh, this is one for Elwyn. It adds three to the mesmerized thing. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, no, let's don't leave the equipment screen because I want to. Yeah, well, doesn't matter which character I want. I want to look at our uh, materials. Nine Mithra, or a Calcum, Dark Matter. Six ethers, ceramic, fire crystals, and melting ice, tunneling, yew branches, holy water, dragon scale, mage stone, beast fang, shinobi stone, tomahogany, pegasus mane. Okay, that's what I want to see. Since we're getting close to the end of this video, hmm, I sure say we'd go forge something, but uh, I keep doing that, y'all. I keep expecting to be it to be on what I don't want by default and then it turns out to be what I want by default. But we're close enough to the end of this video. We'll decide if we're going to forge or or go out on an expedition or whatever next time. So thanks for watching and y'all come back.